Hi, it's Mac Gizmo Guy, and uh, yesterday I just upgraded my MacBook to 10.8 Mountain Lion, and in preparation for buying one of the new MacBooks that have both a Thunderbolt and USB 3 Super Speed ports on it. And as part of that process, I recently bought a Buffalo Technologies Mini Station Thunderbolt and USB 3 combo interface drive. Currently, it is the cheapest Thunderbolt storage solution available, although it's not the fastest. Um, but I bought this with the intention of getting ready for my next Mac. Okay, um, as we see on the front here, it says over 100 megabytes per second. It has Thunderbolt, an icon that says USB. It doesn't mention anywhere on the packaging or even in the fine print that this is super speed USB 3 compatible drive, um, but it is. And it also shows a Time Machine logo indicating that it's pre-formatted for the Mac and it's instantly ready to go for a Time Machine backup. Here's the drive itself, a small portable drive, a little thick and chunky, but really nicely styled with aluminum and white, which would complement most Mac setups. And we see this is also the first combo interface uh, drive that's available that has both a Thunderbolt and a USB 3. We can tell by the style of mini connector, this is definitely a USB 3 um, capable drive. It comes with both cables, and that's an important distinction. On almost all other hard drives sold to date, the Thunderbolt cable is optional. A $49 Thunderbolt cable is one choice. A $59 cable from Elgato is also available currently. So the fact that this drive comes bundled with a cable and saves you 50 bucks makes it a bargain in and of itself right there. Well, in order uh, to truly take advantage of particularly the Thunderbolt port, I'm going to be swapping the mechanical hard drive mechanism in here for a solid state one that I have on order. It took four credit cards. It's a real nail breaker to try to get this apart. It turns out it doesn't really have latches, but what it has is an adhesive strip across the entire bottom of the hard drive that made this quite a challenge to get apart. But it's my intention to undo about eight screws and I'll be able to swap the SATA mechanical hard drive for a SATA 3 uh, I'm getting a, uh, what is it, a SanDisk Extreme, one of the best performing solid state drives currently available, and I'll be swapping that in here. So, again, currently this is the lowest cost Thunderbolt drive available. It's the first combo interface drive available that can take advantage of USB 3 as well. Should also be noted that it's safe to plug in both cables at the same time. Your Mac will simply recognize and use the interface that was plugged in first. So it doesn't harm the drive to plug in both connectors, uh, but if you're smart and you can, you're going to want to plug in the Thunderbolt cable. It should also be noted that USB 3.0 is backwards compatible with older USB 2 and even 1.1 ports. So uh, it's a great drive for your current Mac and it'll be ready for the super speed and Thunderbolt future on your next one. The last thing to note, at least in terms of performance, here on the back of the package they show a bar graph. Um, under USB 2, 30 megabytes per second. They don't show a USB 3 chart. They show FireWire 800 at about 77 megabytes per second, which is ironic because it doesn't have a FireWire port, but at least for comparison. And here it shows under Thunderbolt 105. So basically it's about 25 to 30 some percent faster than a, Thunder, or a FireWire 800 port. Uh, the reason for this is simply because the mechanical hard drive is the bottleneck in it. That's why I'm going to be replacing it with a solid state drive. And this drive enclosure uh, will be able to do 200, 300 megabytes per second or more of data transfer speed. So for the price, it's an absolute bargain. It's groundbreaking in terms of the most affordable Thunderbolt drive to date at this point, the flexibility of using it with USB 3 completely self-powered. Um, once I add a solid state drive, this thing is going to be able to really take advantage of the benefits Thunderbolt offers on my next MacBook, which I'll be getting soon. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.